Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send signature request on Google Form submissions via Dropbox sign. So I manage the hiring process in a company. And when the employees are being selected after their interview, they are asked to fill the form that we have created with the help of Google Forms. And as they are going to fill the form, automatically to them, we want to send the documents that we want them to sign on. So if I am going to do all of this manually, it is going to take me a lot of time. So what I did was, I simply created an automation using Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software, which requires no programming and coding skills to create the automation. In this automation, what we are going to discuss is that, as soon as any of our employees are going to do the form submission using Google Forms, automatically to them with the help of Dropbox sign, the signature request should be forwarded. For that, what we are going to do is, we are going to simply create an automation between Google Forms and Dropbox sign with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send signature request on Google Form submissions via Dropbox sign. So I am managing the hiring process of a large corporation. Candidates applies for position and then when they are selected, they are asked to fill in a Google form for their onboarding process, which collect basic details of their position that they have been hired on. With Dropbox sign integration, as soon as any of the candidate who have been selected submits the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms, automatically a signature request is going to be forwarded to them to sign on their appointment letters. And it is going to be automatically sent to them with the help of email. This ensures that all necessary documents is signed promptly, allowing the hiring process to move forward without delay. This does not only saves time but also ensures the document are signed on time and are easily accessible for future references. So in this video, we are going to create this amazing automation between Google Forms and Dropbox sign with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps written in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as Send signature request on Google form submissions via Dropbox sign. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. After that, it is asking for us to select the folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this arrow. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select Dropbox sign automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send signature request on Google form submissions via Dropbox sign and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we need to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow. And for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Google Forms. As with the help of Google Forms, I have created a form in the name of New Employee Onboarding Form. And I want that as soon as a new employee is hired in my company and they are going to fill this form right over here, automatically to the employer fill the form, a signature request should be forwarded with the help of Dropbox sign, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to connect this form with Pabli Connect and that is why for the trigger application, I have selected it as Google Forms. And then for the trigger event, I am going to select it as New Response Receive. As when a new form submission is going to be done by any of my employees, any of my hired employees, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response of the form submission being done. 
Now, after selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that Public Connect has provided us with the webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we can connect Google Forms and Public Connect. Firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, to follow the steps given here below in the help desk to connect Google Forms and Public Connect. Firstly, you need to open the form that you have created with the help of Google Forms. As you can see, that is the form that I have created with the help of Google Forms. I'll be going to connect this form with Public Connect. For that, click on this Responses option right over here. As soon as we're going to do that, under Responses, you can see over it says Link to Sheets. We're going to click on it. As we're going to do that, a new dialog box is then going to appear on which it is asking for it to select the destination for Responses. Over here, there are two options. One is either you can create a new spreadsheet or you can select the existing spreadsheet. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. For that, click on this Create button right over here. As you can see that as I've clicked on create a spreadsheet has been created in the name of new employee onboarding form responses. This spreadsheet that we have created is directly linked to this form right over here that we have created using Google Forms so that whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of our employees by using this form right over here, automatically the responses of the form is going to be captured under this spreadsheet right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to connect this spreadsheet to public credit so that whenever a new response is going to be captured in the spreadsheet, automatically the response is going to be forwarded to public connect and public connect is going to also capture the response so for connecting the spreadsheet with public connect over here from these options you have to click on extensions as we go to click on extensions we have to click on add-ons and then on get add-ons as we go to click on it you can see that a new window is going to appear on which on the search bar you have to search for public connect web books we're going to select public connect web books as we go to do that over here it says public connect web books option we're going to click on this as you can see that i've already installed public connect web books so i'm going to move forward but if you haven't installed public connect web books please do install it so you can connect google sheets and public connect and public connect is going to get the response from this spreadsheet so please do not forget to install public connect web books as we have already installed public connect web books i'm going to refresh this spreadsheet as I'm going to refresh this spreadsheet, we have to click on extensions again. And after click on extensions, now you can see where it says Public Connect Web Books. We're going to click on this. And as we're going to click on it, you can see there are multiple options provided to us from which we have to click on initial setup. As we're going to click on initial setup, you can see a dialog box is then going to appear in front of you. In the dialog box, it is asking for the webhook URL and the trigger column. For the webhook URL, I'm going to paste the webhook URL that Public Connect has provided us. And then for the trigger column, it says the trigger column will be a final data column on which of the data is added. So for the trigger column over here, I'm going to select it as column F because in this column, my final data is going to be added. And then I'm going to click on the submit button. As I'm going to do that over here, it says setup configured successfully. So this means that we successfully added the webhook in the spreadsheet. But now the steps that I'm going to tell you right now are very important. So please do not forget to follow them. Click on extensions again. As soon as you click on extensions, click on public and webhooks. And now from the options right over here, we have to select send on event. We're going to click on it. As over here now it is saying working. As the loading is completed, we have to click on extensions and public connect web books again. You can see a tick mark is in front of send on event. It is very important to click on send on event because whenever a new response is going to be captured in the spreadsheet, automatically the spreadsheet is going to send the data to public connect. That is why it is really important to click on send on event. Okay. So now as we have successfully added the webhook in the spreadsheet right over here, what we are going to do is we are going to open our workflow and over here now it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do the test submission of the form that we have created using Google Forms and we are going to check whether public edit captures the response of the form submission that we are going to be doing or not. For that, I am going to open the form that I have created. You can see that this is the form that we have created and we are going to do the test submission of this form. For that, click on the send button right over here and from these options, Option to click on this link button. We're going to, I'm going to copy this link from here and I'm going to open this link in a new tab. You can see that this is the form that I've created for my employees who are being hired, okay, for their onboarding process. Over here, firstly, it is asking for the name of our employee. For the name of the employee, I'm going to give it as demo person. So this is the name of my employee, okay. For the email over here, I'm going to give it as demo person at the rate publitudes.com. For the phone number, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. And for the job title is the title which this employee is hired in our organization. So for the job title over here, I'm going to write it as marketing head. So this is the job title of this employee. Okay. Then the date of joining, I'm going to select a date of joining as 25th July 2024. Okay. After filling the required details, I'm going to click on submit to do the test submission. 
as it says your response has been recorded now i'm going to open my spreadsheet and you can see that in the spreadsheet the record of the form submission that we have done right now has been created for the name as demo person email as demo person at the rate babitudes.com for the phone number the mobile number job title as marketing head and date of joining a date of joining okay as the details has now been recorded in the spreadsheet i'm going to open my workflow i'm going to scroll down and yes you can see over here a response has also been captured in our workflow that we have created using pabli connect so now let us tally the response for the name as demo person job title as marketing head email as demo person at the rate pabliitudes.com date of joining as 25072024 and for the phone number the mobile number and all the other details so this means that google forms is now successfully connected with pabli connect our trigger setup is done So now, whenever a new form submission is going to be done by any of our employees using Google Forms, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response of the form submission of our employee. And now, as our trigger setup is done and the form submission is done by our employee, we want to send them a signature request using Dropbox sign via email. So what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step in this workflow. And for the action application, I am going to select it as Dropbox sign. Dropbox Sign is an application that allows users to electronically sign documents without the need of printing, scanning or faxing. It simplifies the process of getting signatures on important papers by enabling users to sign documents electronically to recipients who can then sign them digitally from anywhere using a computer or a mobile device. This application ensures security and legality by complying with electronic signature standards, making it convenient for businesses and individuals to streamline their document signing processes efficiently. So I'm using Dropbox Sign as an application which is going to ensure the signature request to all of my employees okay and for the action event i'm going to select it as send signature request from template as in my dropbox sign account i have created a template of appointment letter already i'm going to send this appointment letter to all of my employees so that they can sign on it okay so what we are going to do is that is why for the action i've selected it as send signature request from template and for the action application as dropbox sign and then i'm going to click on connect to connect dropbox sign and pabli connect a new window is going to appear on which you have to click on add new connection as we are going to do that over here it is asking for the api key and the password for the api key you have to follow the help desk given here below to have the access of the api key firstly we need to open our dropbox sign account as you can see that this is my dropbox sign account okay and what we are going to do is we are going to have the access of the api key so that we can connect dropbox sign and pabli connect for that you have to click on api right over here from the left side of our screen as we are going to do that you will be forwarded to this api dashboard right over here and then we are going to generate a new api key for that click on this generate key button it is asking for the name of the api key i'm going to give a name of my api key as this is the name of my api key that is appointment letter okay then i'm going to click on generate key to generate a key you can see a key is now been generated i'm going to copy this key from here and i'm going to paste the key over here in my public connect account next over here you can see it says enter your api key and leave password field blank so i'm going to leave this field blank right over here okay and then i'm going to click on the save button to connect dropbox sign with public connect as you can see that dropbox sign is now successfully connected to public connect over here it is asking for the template that you want to send and as a signature request to our employees for the template i have created a template in my dropbox sign account in the name of appointment letters and i want to send this template as a signature request to all of my employees who are hired in my company so what we are going to do is for the template over here i'm going to select it as appointment letters next over here it is asking for the test mode over here it says if you do not have a paid api plan select yes for the test mode only not legally binding So I'm going to select over here as yes because as I don't have a paid API plan for my Dropbox sign account so that is why I'm going to run this workflow over here in test mode but if you have a paid API plan in your Dropbox sign account then do select over here as no so that this workflow is not going to run as in a test mode okay so i'm going to over here select it as yes okay as i've done that next it is asking for the subject of the email that we want to send to our signers our employees so for the subject of my email i'm going to write it as so this is the subject that i've written that is please review and sign appointment letter this is the subject of the email that i want to send okay next it is asking for the message the message is the body that we want to send as an email to our 
employees for the message over here i'm going to write it as so this is the message that i want to send to my employees on their email it says dear next to dear it says recipient name this is the employee's name for the employee's name over here firstly i'm going to erase this existing data for the employee's name over here what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how it works is that as soon as you to click on this field right over here you can see it says google forms new response received this was the previous step of this workflow and as soon as you to click on this you can see that this was the same response that was captured in our previous step as over here we require the name of our employee i'm going to select the data of the name of my employee from our previous response as i selected the data the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic. to make that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right away in place of this map data is going to be updated this i hope this message find you well please find attached document that requires your review and signature you can conveniently sign it electronically using dropbox sign by following the link if you have any questions or encounter any issues please do not hesitate to reach out to me your prompt attention of this matter is greatly appreciated thank you best regards team dream frame this is the company name dream frame that is why i have selected as dream frame so this is the message that i want to send as a body of the email that i want to send to my employee okay After that, it is asking for the after signing redirect URL. As I don't want the redirect URL, I'm going to leave this field empty. Okay. Next, it is asking for the title. I'm going to skip the part right over here. For the signer role over here, as the person who's signing the document is the employee, so I'm going to select my signer role right over here as employee. Okay. For the signer's email, we're going to map the date of the email that we have received in our previous response. So I'm going to map the date of the email. And for the signer's name, I'm going to map the date of the name of our signer that is right over. over here after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on save and send test request button as i've done that you can see right over here a response has been received in our pabli connect workflow and the response that we have received is a positive response so now i'm going to open my gmail account and i'm going to check whether an email for the signature request is forwarded on my account or not for that i'm going to open my gmail account And yes as you can see right over here we have received an email on our gmail account for the signature request it says dear demo person i hope this message finds you well find the attached document that requires a review and signature so this was the body that we have entered right over here and attached to it is a document that we need to sign with the help of dropbox sign so i'm going to open this document and you can see right over here this is a document this is a template document that i've created using Dropbox sign and this is the appointment letter that I want my employee to sign on okay you can see that this is the document with the name as demo person for the employee name for the signature the signature column is right over here and for the title of the job you can enter the title of the job according to your requirement so you can write it as marketing head okay so you can see that with the date the date right away with the person name as demo person you can change the name according to your requirement right over here and the details of the appointment letter is right over here and over here you can sign this appointment as well so this means that we fully created an automation between google forms and dropbox sign with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am managing the hiring process of a large corporate and over here whenever a new employee is hired in my company they are asked to fill in the form using google forms so that we can assign them their appointment letters so here what is going to happen that as soon as any of my employees are going to fill in the form that we have created using google forms automatically to them a signature request should be forwarded with the help of dropbox sign via email so that they can sign their appointment letters that we have created using dropbox sign For that we have created this amazing automation between Google Forms and Dropbox sign with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel. Hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubt you can send us email on support@pabli.com. If you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pabli connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching